All right, ladies, I know a lot of you don't like barbell glute bridges. All the rage right now about building your glutes is barbell glute bridges, and I love them. But don't get me wrong, I get that getting under a bar can be difficult and sometimes intimidating for a lot of women. So I wanna show you five different variations on how you can still really hit those glutes with those glute bridges, but you don't need to get under a barbell. So let's talk about first what we expect from a bridge. What I want you to do is put your knees and your feet about shoulder width apart, not much wider, not much narrower. Think about shoulder width. Then when you go to extend your hips, what I don't want to see is an anterior tilt. That's that extension near your low back. That's what's gonna happen. What I would like you to do instead, bridge up and lock out. Slight posterior tilt. You'll know if you're posterior anterior tilting by these bony pieces in the front. So, anterior tilt, posterior tilt. This is how you're gonna lock out. So, all together, a standard bridge, no weight, straight up, push through your heels, posterior tilt, squeeze your glutes at the top of the motion, and then slowly lower. Okay. Next thing, we did lateral band walks for hip abductors. We're gonna use that same mini band to challenge our abductors in this next variation of a glute bridge. So you can fasten them around your knees. Same setup. Feet and knees about shoulder width apart. You can put your, your hands underneath your glutes to support you if you like. Push up through your heels, lock out at the top. And now you're getting this added challenge from the band so that you're engaging your abductors a little bit more. Up, let that band basically challenge you at the top there. And back down. Now, once you think you got those down pretty well, challenge yourself. You're gonna notice a side-to-side -side weakness with a single leg bridge. A little bit tougher. So, single leg bridge, same things apply. One of the mistakes I see people make is that they drag their heel too far away from their body and they get a lot of hamstring. Think about bringing your heel much closer to your bottom. And then, opposite leg up, bridge to the top. Down, up. Again, make sure your heel's closer to your bottom if you start feeling it in your hamstring. All the way up, squeeze at the top, and then back down. And then, next variation, we can use the bench, but we don't need to grab the barbell. What you can do, again, I ordered this off Amazon, but you can get them on performbetter.com as well, and grab a super band. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. Okay, we folded the super band in half. Get your back up against the bench. Pull this up around your knees. Feet shoulder width apart. Bring your body up. It's like a teeter-totter. I want you to think about every time your head goes back, your hips come up. So equal and opposite reaction. Now you're able to challenge your glutes without using a barbell. Last variation, you can do these double leg or single leg. Kind of the reverse of what you're doing with your back on the mat. Double leg, lift straight up. Again, I don't want to see hyperextension. Bring your body up in a straight line, push through your heels, but don't hyperextend. So all together, you can put your hands on your glutes again for support. Up, squeeze, and back down. Up, squeeze, and back down. Same thing when you go to switch to single leg. Up, squeeze, back down. Okay, you guys, five different variations, five different ways you don't need to use a barbell to do glute bridges. There's plenty of more, but those are some good ones to get you started. Give it a shot.